Over the years, our families had a share of health problems. So prescriptions are a part of our life. Before we went to the big box store. We both thought it would help us save. But with the long lines and impersonal service, filling prescriptions became a chore. That's when a friend recommended DNH. Now Tristan knows our prescriptions. Brenda always helps us find the right vitamins. And after Dad's fall, Monica's been a real expert with all our home medical needs, all without the lines. Trust and service. That's our DNH. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, July 30th. My friend Margaret Tollerton is on one side, Liz Schmidt is on the other side of me today. Two lovely ladies. Margaret is uh, representing Missouri Cures and you want to tell us about WISE Columbia, right? I do. What is WISE Columbia? WISE stands for Women in Science and Entrepreneurship. Okay. And that is a program that uh, Missouri Cures started last year in St. Louis and it was so successful that we're carrying it on through Columbia, Kansas City and Springfield. So the whole state basically will so be covered. So it's women in, in science, science and entrepreneurship. entrepreneurship. Yes. Okay. With a hope to expose, you know, wonderful careers and entrepreneurs that are open to females, mm -hmm. to hopefully inspire more females to get into fields like this. Yes. So, well, what will be going on? It's what, 7.30 until 9 9 a.m., right. So from 7.30 to 8, we'll have like a continental breakfast mm -hmm. and networking gonna and be? things. It's going to be at the First State Community Bank, south of town, uh -huh. um, in their community room. And then um, we'll have speakers at 8 o'clock. The program will begin. And Stacy Button, you may know these people, um, Stacy Button, the Economic Director, Development Director at, and Ready President. Mm -hmm. And then LaGretta Hudson, she's a registered dietitian at MU, um, Heidi Apple, MU Senior Research Scientist at the Bond Life Sciences Center, mm -hmm. and then Amy Mize at ABC. She's Vice President um, Business Development at ABC Labs. Mm -hmm. So local folks are going to be on the panel, and they're going to be discussing um, what it's like to be in this field, whether it be science or um, economic development. Uh, you know, Stacy Button deals with new businesses. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what they do there, right? Yeah. And um, um, from one side, I mean, from one beginning of all the new businesses, and then Amy Mize from ABC Labs to actually talk about what it's like to be a female in um, a business like ABC Labs. Now, is, is this program just for women or are men? No, men to will be welcome, yes, but uh, to give you an idea, okay. St. Louis, we sold out last year at. Um, we had it at the Danforth Center, and we had like 325 people, and there must have been three men. Yeah, 325 people. So you had <laughs> 323 <laughs> women. Oh no, 322 women and was, three men. It was pretty, pretty much a sea of women for sure. Men <laughs> okay. are welcome. They are, but you know, really, um, it's geared toward females. Okay. Because so, we need more females in the science, in all the STEM. Right, right. So if you're interested in this, uh, should they make reservations ahead of time? That would be helpful because we are providing, you know, a continental breakfast. So right. they can come to MissouriCures.org and go to events and find which wise. Which stands for Women in Science and Entrepreneurship. Very and good. And this goes on September 10th. Uh, this year, so 9, 10, 15. Start. Did we say, is there a charge for this or not? No, this one's no, free. free. This one's free. Even the Continental Breakfast? It is. You're giving them a Continental Breakfast free? We are. Just we like are. the League of Women Voters give their cookies free. It's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Margaret Tollerton. I appreciate you coming by. Thank you. And oh. you are a very wise woman. Oh, bless right. your heart. Thank right. you. <laughs> As is Liz Schmidt over For here sure. from yeah. the League of Women Voters. <laughs> How are you? Good to have you here, Liz. And this is a very busy time of the year for you ladies, isn't it? Isn't this ridiculous here? It's going to be August 4th in another week. We're at the end of July. I can't believe that. I know. It seems like we were just talking <laughs> just about here. Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's, and now we're uh, at the, almost the end of here July. Here we are. Give us time. We'll be back around. Yeah. But we have an election with one thing on the ballot. And That's Tuesday. It, it, next Tuesday. Yes, next Tuesday, August 4th. Mm -hmm. And we want people to get out. The last election, the last time we did this, Ten years ago, it passed by 187 votes. So Only we, 187 yes. votes, so every vote counts. So what are the issues here? Okay, the polls open at 6 a.m. and mm -hmm. close at 7, 
and there's uh, it's a sales tax exe- extension. Okay, so and it's not a the, new. It's not right, a new it's, tax. They want to extend the sales tax that you're paying now in the city of Columbia only, right? Not um, in the county. Right. It's a one fourth cent capital improvement tax, mm-hmm. and it's for ten years. Okay. Has to be renewed. There is a sunset on it. It's for roads, fire. So, uh, and police, the police and the fire need to have a service center north of Columbia and south of Columbia. And these are rather expensive to put in. So this is where the sales with. tax would come from? This is, no, this is where it's going to be used. No, no, but I mean, this is where the money, the, the money will be used. from the sales tax will be used for this. Right. Yeah. And you will get a mailing from the county clerk with your polling place in it and the ballot. And if you do not, if you do not get one, I would say by today or tomorrow at least, you need to call and find out if you think you're registered. Some people are not registered because they move, mm-hmm. and then the clerk gets that ballot back, and mm-hmm. they don't know where you went. Now, are there – is everybody that's listening to us, will some everybody have something to vote for? If I the, don't think so. I don't think there's a county ballot this time. So this, what we're talking about with this election is just in the city of Columbia. Columbia. What about Jeff City? Uh, you know, I don't know about them. They're in another okay. county. All right. They could. But you're, but you're not thinking that the, the Boone County... I don't think Boone has anything on this ballot. Okay. I think what's coming is... As you said, maybe the roll cards in November or something cards. like that. That's a different but story. But we're going to keep okay. that out till November. Right. I, I would say that there's a little white piece of paper in this envelope, and if you bring that to the polls with you, that is your ID. And they can just zap it, and you're right in. If You can also use your driver's license or any state ID, any um, your passport, uh, any university ID, Uh, Just about anything water and light bill, but it's real nice if you open that envelope Look at the ballot and take out this little white piece of paper. Yeah, your sample ballot. That you get your sample ballot. sample ballot. So if you did not receive a sample ballot by now, you should call uh, the county clerk. Yes, 573-886-4375. And 10 years ago when this was on the ballot, it only won by 100 and. 87 votes. So what happens if this issue, if we're just about out of time, Liz, if the issue does not pass? Yes, uh, then we're going to be $63 million behind. We still will get $20, 20 million from the um, uh, county road tax. Okay. Just so we'll, it's some money, but it's right. not going to do the big stuff okay. that so we need Okay, so just uh, decide yourself, look at the paper, read the stories, and go to vote. There's August a the lot, 4th. a lot of publicity okay. out about it in the next week or two. Out of time for today. Tomorrow, Kathy and Dave will be with us. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director, Lowell Thomas, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Thompson.